So I bought some blades. These blades, to be exact. They are Impala's something or other. They're all in line. And while they're a massive upgrade on my old pair of rollerblades, I wouldn't exactly call them my dream skates. My dream skates are those really colourful roller skates, the ones with the four wheels that are kind of two and two. But uh, I don't know how to use those. And even though theoretically the transition from inline to roller skates shouldn't be that tricky, I'm not willing to find out through falling. So today, I'm gonna make the skates of my dreams. Welcome to the voiceover. I'm going to walk you through the ingredients that are going to go into our decorated skates cake. Of course, we have the uh, aforementioned skates, my Impala something or other in lines with the spinny wheels. We have the contact cement, which is my favorite kind of cheap $2 shop glue for this sort of project. Then there are also all of the bits and bobs. I love some bits and bobs. Bits and bobs are great. And the omnipotent hands agree. Two thumbs up for bits and bobs. Decorating skates is pretty straightforward. Uh, here you can see my process at 2,000 times speed. This took a while. I decided I should do it properly by figuring out the placements of all of the things before I committed and stuck them on for realsies. You can see me here sticking on the flowers with the contact cement. I don't know if you've ever had the pleasure of using contact cement before, but it's quite an odd process. You put a small dab of glue on one bit and then a small dab of glue on the other bit and you leave it for, I don't know, five or so minutes for it to dry. Not like dry dry, but tacky dry. A little bit tacky to the touch. And then you stick the bits together and oof. Do they never come apart ever again until they do? <laughs> I know I've talked about glue a lot so far, but I'm gonna continue talking about glue because for a project like this, the glue is the most important part. Say it with me. The glue is the most important part. Glue will make or break your project. I have had many, many crafting adventures broken by the wrong choice of glue. Uh, you may think that super glue would be the right choice for something like this, but because the skates are curved in nature, the glue is a rather thin glue, it doesn't fill in the gaps the same way that the contact cement fills in the gaps. I also find because the contact cement is rather tacky. It kind of expands and contracts with the daily events of life. Like it's not as if it bonds everything super duper hard and then it's never gonna change its form again. No, it morphs with whatever you've glued it to. I've officially prattled on about glue for way too long now. I'm going to leave you with the rest of this time lapse and I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye now. And these are the final skates. As you can see, I only decorated on the outside. That's so, uh, all these little itty bitty gems here and the flowers have a better chance of sticking on for as long as possible. I think I might record an update maybe in a month or two, just to show how 
all of this business has worn. Something I really appreciate as a long time crafts person is knowing how long things will last with wear and tear. Because it's all well and good enough to stick a bunch of gems on some rollerblades, but what's the point in decorating them if it's not gonna last a while? So I will do that. You will continue to be you. And thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later.